Hello and welcome to the screencast on how to configure and install the CK Editor module. I have here a vanilla Drupal installation with just the admin menu enabled to make it easy to access sections and configure the modules. Uh, first thing we will do, uh, we'll go to drupal.org to download the CK Editor module from the module page. Uh, I will download the latest version from here. After that, you need to download the CK Editor from the CK Editor page. Uh, you can use either the zip or the tar file, uh, it doesn't make a difference. After you download the CK Editor, you will extract first the CK Editor module uh, archive inside the sites all modules directory. After that, you will copy the CK Editor uh, directory inside the module directory and extract it here so that all the subdirectors inside the archive are, in, are listed inside the CK Editor subdirectory. So your path looks like that sites all modules, CK Editor, and the CK Editor you downloaded is listed in the side, inside the subdirectory. After that, we'll go to our site site building modules list I will enable the CK editor from here Now we have the CK Editor installed on our site. In order to enable uh, our users to use the CK Editor, we have to set the access CK Editor permission. Uh, I will go to user management permissions and set the access CK Editor permission for our authenticated users. Save permissions. After that, you need to configure the CK Editor configurations. You go to Site Configuration, CK Editor. You will configure uh, one of these profiles to be used for your uh, user roles. I choose the Advanced Profile. Click Edit. You will see here the basic setup, profile name, and you select here the roles allowed to use this profile. I only have one role authenticated users, but if you have many roles, they will be listed here. You select the roles you need to allow the CK editor for. Uh, after that, uh, you need to configure the security filters. You have uh, the HTML filter here enabled, which is fine. Under the visibility settings, you include uh, the fields, field names. Uh, and paths you need to enable or disable the CK editor under. I will leave that as the default, it's fine. The editor appearance uh, you have here the toolbar. Uh, you have uh, several setups for the toolbar. I prefer Drupal full because it provides all the tools I need. After that, uh, we go to the cleanup and output section. You hear uh, format. Uh, the HTML that is outputted uh, while you use the CK editor. For example, when you press enter, you can uh, configure uh, the CK editor to output a paragraph tag, a break tag, or a dev tag. Uh, same thing for shift plus enter. Uh, you can set up here the font formats, format tags. I will leave that as the default. Uh, under the CSS, you can uh, configure the editor to use the theme CSS. I prefer to use a CK editor default, it's uh, more stable. Uh, the predefined styles, I prefer to use also the CK editor default. Uh, under the file browser settings, you set up here the file browser you would like to use. For example, uh, if you install the CK Finder uh, file browser, you can enable it here. Uh, I won't use a file browser in this demo, so I won't install it. After that, you click Save. The CK Editor outputs several HTML tags, uh, which may not be available in the default uh, filtered HTML format. 
uh, that uh, Drupal uh, enables by default for all users for example site configuration input formats list you'll find here that uh, these are the input formats the default input format is the filtered HTML the filtered HTML uh, if you click configure configure again you'll find here that the allowed HTML tags these are some HTML tags that are allowed uh, to be used or to be outputted uh, when using the filtered HTML format the CK editor uh, needs more HTML tags than these uh, so either you insert the HTML tags that is needed by CK editor inside the allowed HTML tags in the filtered HTML and save or uh, you could use which is the method I prefer you could enable the full HTML uh, input format for all roles uh, this is of course has uh, its risks uh, do not do that uh, when your users input a lot of content uh, I always do that when I am the only editor or the editors of my site are people I trust not to insert scripts and such things inside the, the body of my uh, nodes but if you are unsure about that you can uh, enable the filtered HTML format and insert the text I will use the full HTML set default format after that, uh, when you try to create content, for example a page, you'll find that uh, the CK editor is fully enabled and functioning like that here. Uh, I will make an example of uh, how cool this editor is by going, for example, to any page. Let's say... support let's try to copy this text for example and paste it here you see that the text is pasted with the same formatting images and everything took right from the, the original HTML without needing to do any special formatting on our part this editor is a very great editor you will enjoy using it on your sites. I hope you've enjoyed this screencast and stay tuned for more to come.